Okay, now this looks a little more ch challenging and now we can have uh, only the default thing with it, which is try to capture the code fragment here. So it doesn't help. We get in an array of numbers. We get in a number and we're supposed to return an array of numbers. So how can that be? In this case where the number never occurs I just return an empty array. In this case where it might be that I'm supposed to return this set of indices. So it, in this case 20, uh, 32 occurs only on index 0. In this case it occurs on index 0 and index 1. So the question is how to do that in Java because I kind of have the problem that I cannot use collections as far as I remember. So there's nothing like a dynamically allocated thing here. How do I get the correct size? would need to copy this over which does not really make sense. This is a pretty easy thing in, in C sharp I guess but it's not so easy in Java at least I don't see the solution for now. But let me first, let, let me just start. So we want an integer array which is our result. And this integer array has at most as many um, elements as this numbers thing here. So I'm going to give it that length for now. And I'm going to say I iterate over all the numbers and numbers. And in case... Um, In case the numbers i e whoops sorry equals x, I want to set one of the values in results to i, and of course I want to return the results result. So now let me see how we can produce this right result array. So we could use array copy here to copy it over, like create a new array that is one element longer every time we hit this this condition here. This is one possibility. So I could say just create an empty array here and then do something more complicated here like getting result of length which is the new position so at the new position we're going to add uh, the new number and then we have to increase the size of, of the array. So we need a new integer array temp, which is a new end of this results length plus one. And and we can import maybe we'll see java util arrays here and then we can oh, we can actually use arrays dot copy off the result thing with new position plus one as the length and then Oh, I can even directly assign this again to result. 
So this should do the trick, but I'm not sure if I can use Java Utils arrays here. And in fact, in fact, it seems I cannot use array copy here. I don't want to implement that manually. Of course, I could do that, but I kind of don't want to. Okay, for the, for the sake of finding out whether this uh, works in general, create copy. Oh, let's just follow the convention of the Java library and call this uh, copy of, and this is public static int array copy of and array input and in new size or new length rather and then we say int array result equals new int array of input length or of new length actually new length and then for int i equals zero i smaller input dot length i plus plus we're going to copy say result i equals input i return results so this should implement the arrays copy of and it looks pretty good that this solves our tasks and it even gives us the full skill rating now this is some surprise apparently there's no no smaller solution in java maybe there is if you find one please tell me i would be interested if this is uh, possible in a somewhat more elegant way but with this surprising success, I'm going to end today's episode. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.